Director Christopher Nolan is one of the most beloved filmmakers working today, meaning whenever he's set to release a film, we have to talk about it. His latest venture takes us to 1939 and is a biopic about J. Robert Oppenheimer, the inventor of the atomic bomb. The film is based on the book American Prometheus, The Triumph and Tragedy of J. Robert Oppenheimer by Kai Bird and Martin J. Sherwin. Oppenheimer features one of the most impressive casts in recent memory. Here's everything you need to know about the cast of Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. Cillian Murphy is J. Robert Oppenheimer. Cillian Murphy leads the film as the titular character, J. Robert Oppenheimer. Known as the father of the atomic bomb, Oppenheimer was a central player in the Manhattan Project during World War II. Cillian Murphy has been a mainstay in almost all of Nolan's films, most notably as Jonathan Crane as the Scarecrow in the Dark Knight trilogy. Emily Blunt as Catherine Kitty Oppenheimer. Emily Blunt will play Catherine Oppenheimer, wife of Cillian Murphy's character. While we don't know how big Blunt's role will be in the upcoming film, we expect it to be a significant role considering her connection to Robert Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer will be her first time working with Christopher Nolan, but the collaboration is a perfect match. Her acting range is incredible, and Nolan always gets the best performances from his actors. If you want to see Blunt shine, look no further than A Quiet Place Part 2, Sicario, and My Summer of Love. Matt Damon is Leslie Groves. Matt Damon was previously in Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. Oppenheimer is the first time the two reunited since the 2014 epic. Damon will be playing LT, Leslie Groves, who directed The Manhattan Project. Damon is an incredibly talented actor. He's best known for his role in Good Will Hunting, The Martian, and the Jason Bourne franchise. Robert Downey Jr. near, as Louis Strauss, Robert Downey Jr. has done it all. He's been on the small screen with shows like Ally McBeal, done dramas like Zodiac, and was the face of the biggest franchise in the world as Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Even after all of his success, Downey jumped at the chance to star in Oppenheimer. The actor will play Louis Strauss, a businessman, philanthropist, and naval officer who served two terms on the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission. As Downey moves on to his post-Iron Man career, we can't wait to see what he delivers in a film like Oppenheimer. Florence Pug is Jean Tatlock. Florence Pug is one of the rising stars in Hollywood. She was a co-lead in Marvel's Black Widow and Greta Gerwig's Little Women, and she led the instant classic, Midsummer. If you're looking forward to another one of Pug's films, she will play a key role in Denny's Villeneuve's Dune, Part 2. In the film, Pug will play Jean Tatlock, a psychiatrist and romantic interest for Robert Oppenheimer. At only 26 years old, Pug has already established herself as a household name, and Oppenheimer will only add to her extensive resume. Rami Malek, the Academy Award winner, Rami Malek, adds to the gist to the massively talented cast. The actor is best known for his performance as Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody, a role that won him his first Oscar. Rami Malek delivers terrific performances in every film he's a part of, and we expect nothing less in Oppenheimer. For more of his work, check out Mr. Robot, Bohemian Rhapsody, and No Time to Die. Gary Oldman, while we may not know what role Gary Oldman will play in Oppenheimer, we do know that he is at least making an appearance in the film. The actor famously played James Gordon in Nolan's Batman trilogy, so his appearance doesn't come as much of a surprise. Still, Oldman has delivered incredible performances over the years, notably in The Fifth Element, Air Force One, Mank, and Darkest Hour. Josh Peck is Kenneth Bainbridge. Best known for being half of the Nickelodeon duo, Josh Peck is a great actor, and Oppenheimer is a film where more people will see just how great he can be. The actor will be playing Kenneth Bainbridge, the director of the Trinity Nuclear Test. Peck has mainly done work in television so check out these shows, Drake and Josh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and iCarly. Jack Quaid. Jack Quaid has managed to make a name for himself, and that's a challenge when you can easily only be known as the child of Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan. Nevertheless, Jack Quaid has managed to carve out his path and is a fantastic actor. He is one of the main characters on Prime Video's hit series, The Boys, and he also starred in The Hunger Games, Scream, and Star Trek, Lower Decks. Kenneth Branagh Kenneth Branagh was featured in Nolan's latest film, Tenet. The actor, director also starred in Dunkirk, another period piece by Christopher Nolan. Kenneth Branagh's role in Oppenheimer is unknown. Some of his best films are Macbeth, Dunkirk, and Tenet. Benny Safdie as Edward Teller. Benny Safdie is building quite the resume. Safdie is Edward Teller, a theoretical physicist who worked with Oppenheimer on the Manhattan Project and is known as the father of the hydrogen bomb. The actor appeared in critically acclaimed films Good Time, Pieces of a Woman, and Licorice Pizza. Josh Hartnett is Ernest Lawrence. Josh Hartnett was initially offered the role of Bruce Wayne for Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins, a part famously played by Christian Bale. Hartnett turned down the offer but the two finally collaborated over a decade later. Hartnett plays Ernest Lawrence, a Nobel Prize winner and cyclotron inventor. Hartnett is 